it's time for us to start piecing everything we've just developed together so we can get it uh, working in game. Now first thing we have to do is we have to take those uh, two pieces of armor and put them onto a fresh UMP body so we don't have texture issues and you know how 3ds Max likes to mess with the bones and move them when you export it. Uh, we're gonna solve all of that right now. So we want to open up our UMP custom armors, go to data, go to meshes, base body mesh, and double click female body zero. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, this is where we're gonna be working with it. So leave it in the lower right hand corner and go ahead and close out uh, this window. Now we gotta get, uh, actually, go ahead and reopen the UMP custom armors. We're gonna go to data, or sorry, back. We're gonna go to backup, uh, double click the bikini bottom, drag it up into the upper uh, left hand corner somewhere, and we're gonna double click the bikini top. And you can go ahead and drag that over in the lower left hand corner. And you can close your UMP custom armors backup folder. So now we have to apply uh, these two pieces of armor onto the good body. First thing we have to do is if you look here in the NI node 0, you'll notice that the text does not match the BBE2 female body. So first we have to open up the UMP's uh, text uh, file and then uh, this window is going to pop up. Go ahead and just copy this uh, right here, this name, control copy, close it out then select the NI node for the bikini bottom, uh, click the text file, and then control V. The names have to match in the root node, otherwise you can't copy things over. And then select the bikini top and do the same exact thing. Select the little text, mouse over it, and hit control V, and press OK. Now all three of these names match. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here, select this bikini bottom, uh, it shows that it's one, so if I select seven, that's the whole body. One is just the bikini bottom. I'm going to control, copy it. Uh, then I'm going to go over to the female body zero where we're placing it. I'm going to select on the NI node. I'm going to hit control V to paste it. Now it's on the new UMP body. I'm going to do the same exact thing with the bikini top. I'm going to go, I'm going to select it to find it in the list and once I found it in the list I'm going to you know that's the body is seven so one is what we want I hit control C to copy that and I'm gonna mouse all the way up select uh, the NI node so use the scroll wheel get up to the NI node zero and hit control V and that'll place it on there now they're both together but they don't have textures so we need to add a texture file to it so you can go ahead and close out these two windows on the left because now we have them over here and we have to go ahead and get the textures working so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the texture for the bikini top uh, we're gonna drop down this list and you'll see there's an NI material property Skyrim doesn't use this Skyrim uses uh, BS lighting shaders so we have to delete this so with NI material property selected you know all I did was I selected the bikini top click the little arrow to make it open up and I select NI material property by left clicking. I'm going to hit on my keyboard control delete. That's going to delete that material from this. Now we need a new BS lighting shader property. The easiest way to do this is to select one that's already preset up and then put our textures on it. So what we're going to do is go to Skyrim mesh, double click that, open it up, go to meshes, clothing, so clothes, double click clothes, we're going to find, scroll down to get farm clothes 01, double click that, and then go down to torso F0 and double click that. This is the vanilla farm clothes 01. Select the clothing in the list, it'll be 23. Click the little arrow that drops it down. Select the BS lighting shader property from this, hit control C, copy it, so control C and then go into here and just click anywhere in this list and hit control V. Now it's labeled as 41. You always want to look at the two numbers in front of it, 41. Now we're putting it on the chest, so it's 36. I'm going to go to the chest, uh, you know, to the uh, bikini top, select the NI tri shape, go to the scroll wheel on the side here, drop it all the way down to the bottom until I find properties. Click the little arrow next to properties, 
double click in the word none under value and the number is 41 so I just type in 41 and press enter and there it is now if you actually scroll in it does have a texture on it looks all weird because that's the textures that are supposed to be on the clothing and they're not the UV map isn't set up for this so we have to put our texture on this um, let's go ahead and put the same BS lighting shader before we put our textures on here let's go to the select the bikini bottom uh, open up the arrow we got to get rid of this NI material property first so you know click the little arrow next to it select the NI material property and then hit control delete now since we already copied this it's still in our clipboard we can select anywhere in here and hit control V again and that's the clothing uh, BS lighting shader property and we're just gonna put that uh, onto these pants here so go ahead and select the pants it's 30 and I try shape select the and I try shape go to the scroll wheel go all the way down to the bottom uh, click the little arrow next to properties and in values we're going to double click that and this one says it's 42 so we're going to type 42 and press enter now we have textures on both the bottom and the top of course the textures don't match we just wanted the BS lighting shader property with all the right check boxes clicked already preset up for us to save a whole lot of time uh, so now we want to put our textures on it. Well, we can go ahead and close the NF, uh, the NIF scope torso zero. We can go ahead and close this, and we can take this here, and uh, we want to put our textures in the Skyrim data folder so they know where to find it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our uh, data shortcut and open it up. You're going to scroll down until you find a folder called textures. If there isn't one, create new folder and call it textures plural. All right, now we're going to in here, let's go ahead and double click in clothes or you can double click in armor. For here, for now I'm just going to go to clothes. I'm going to double click clothes. If there's no clothing folder you need to create, just create a new folder, name it clothes. Now we're going to right click. We're going to go to create new folder inside the clothes folder. We're going to call this UNP customs. All right. Now go into the UMP Customs folder and with this window open, um, actually go back to close and let's create a shortcut. So click on the UMP Customs folder, create shortcut. Let's just drag this to our desktop so it's easier to get to in the future. All right, I'm going to drop mine under Skyrim Texture. Now I'm going to go into my UMP Custom Armors folder. Double click this. All right, move it over to the side, to the right. Uh, we got to get back inside our UMP Customs folder. So in the Skyrim uh, Textures file, uh, get over here and double-click UMP Customs, the folder we just created. Now in our UMP Custom Armors, we're going to double-click Textures. We're going to grab all of these files, hit Control C on your keyboard, and then click on the UMP Customs folder and hit Control V. Now they're in the Skyrim data. So now we have to get this address and put it into the textures. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to select this window here, this address. Uh, we're just going to select it. We're going to hit Control Copy. And we're going to go over here to uh, the female body NIF that we're working with. We're going to select the bikini top. We're going to drop down the list. We're going to select our BS lighting shader property. We're going to drop that down and we're going to select BS Shader Texture Set. And then there's this little arrow here in the BS Texture Shader Set. You're going to drop that down. And there's two lines here. This one's our Diffuse Texture, and this one is the Normal Map Texture. Well, since we're working with the Bikini Top, we want to assign this. So we're going to click on the little, looks like a wheel here, like a cog wheel. Select that. I'll give you this menu. Uh, we want to get to our folder here where we put the custom uh, textures so we're going to click in this address bar and hit control V all right and press enter and here's our textures in game now this is the bikini top so select bikini top underscore D and select open now you'll already see your texture just applied to the mesh and now we got to put our normal map on it so click the cog wheel on the bottom one and hit control V click in this address bar hit control V press enter and here's our bikini top underscore in and press open. Now we have our normal map and our texture applied to it. Now we're going to do the same thing with the bikini bottom. So select the bikini bottom, go to the BS lighting shader property for the bikini bottom, drop it down, 
go to BS Texture Shader Set, click on the little arrow in here, and in the top one, where the cogwheel is, click it, go up here to the address bar again, hit Control V, that'll get us to our folder in game. Uh, and we want the bikini bottom because we're working with the bottom now and we want the diffuse so underscore D is diffuse and press open. Right, there's our texture that we created for the undergarment. Now we have to go down here and set the normal map for it so in the second line of the textures I'm going to click the cogwheel. We're going to you know, enter our address in here that we copied over and press enter and then we're going to select the bikini bottom underscore in and press open. Now here's our bikini bottom underscore. Now there's better ways of creating normal maps uh, for textures, and we'll get into that into the more advanced tutorials. But this will work for the purposes of you know testing our armor in the game and seeing what we've created. So now we're going to click File, Save As. We don't want to save over our female body underscore zero. We're going to go to our UMP custom armors by clicking here. Uh, and then we're going to go to Data, Meshes, Armor, Daedric. Test one, and you're going to select Daedric Torso F underscore zero, and then you click Save. It says it already exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes. Alrighty. Now we're ready to put this into the uh, Skyrim game engine and test it out. So you can close this out, close this window. You can close your uh, UMP custom uh, window here. Uh, you can close this window as well. And we're going to go to our UMP custom armors. I'm going to go Data Meshes. Armor, Daedric, Test 1, and this is our brand new folder. This has got our brand new stuff in it that we just saved. We've got to put this in game though. So we're going to double click the Daedric shortcut that goes to the Skyrim engine that we set up uh, in an earlier tutorial. Double click it. Now we know it's in here. It's Steam Apps Common Skyrim Data Meshes Armor Daedric. So it's in the Steam Apps. This is the game engine. I'm going to select your Daedric Torso F0, hit Control C on your keyboard, and hit Control V. It says copy and replace. If this pops up, just say yes, copy and replace. All right, uh, now it's uh, in the game and we're ready to test it out. So we're going to do that in the next video because we're getting short on time for this one. And I'll see you here in a moment to see what this looks like in game.